Transition relief that uh, Alan and Bob advocate also has important distributional effects. Uh, they make a very good case for having transition relief in terms of housing as well as in terms of uh, physical business capital, because if you, if you don't have transition relief, then you have regressive taxation, the government's in some fundamental way reneging on its prior promises, which then may create an impression in the future that it won't hold to its promises and could interfere then with uh, efficiency effects and other desirable uh, outcomes in the future. But w without the cap, would, Without the relief, uh, the transition relief, this, the one-time tax, the tax on old capital, imposes a heavy burden on wealthy, generally older generations. Giving the relief shifts the burden to less well-off, younger, and future generations. And it might be worth noting that those are generations who already face a potentially large tax burden because of the fiscal position of the United States government. A countervailing effect is that because of real growth, future generations are wealthier than current generations, and so in that sense might be able to bear that burden. It's just something to think about. Well, now I'd like to talk for a minute about 